What's good guys, it's Sam here, and I wanted to talk about metals research. Oh my God. Um, so, in my order for the RID 140, um, so before I do that, make sure you press that, make sure you press that subscribe button. There's a little bell notification to the side of that. Just press that bell notification, just gently with your finger, just tap on that shit. Um, and now, with that being said, let's get into the video. So, Metals Research, I believe back on uh, mid-November, I had placed a order for um, from Metals Research for, <coughs> I think, three uh, bottles of um, MK677 and a bottle of RAD140 as capsules. So, the, um, you know, whatever it was, a couple weeks later, I get my order, and the no, actually, that was a separate time. Okay, the first time I placed the order was a one bottle of MK677 and one bottle of RID140. Sorry about that. I placed two orders in the last like uh, month and a half. Um, I so with that being said, they uh, came and uh, whatever it was, ten days later, two weeks later, whatever. It's not too bad. I went through the process. You know, have you have to do it through PayPal and all that kind of stuff. And I, for my research, remember, these are not for human consumption. I don't take them. You're going to grow a third foot and uh, you probably die really quickly as soon as you consume them. So don't take them. But if you do, um, the, the uh, results are, are pretty interesting. But don't, but don't do that because they're not for human consumption. Anyway, the RAD140 and the MK677 show up about two weeks later. The MK677 is cool, good to go. Like I've ordered uh, from them multiple times. The uh, RAD140 shows up and it's a liquid. So I showed up on, I think, on a Monday. I was traveling, so I got it on Tuesday night when I got home. And I emailed them Tuesday evening or, or Monday or Wednesday morning. A uh, day or so later, they got back to me and uh, they said, oh, let's send a picture so we can verify. So I sent a picture. Didn't hear anything back about, I waited three or four days. Um, that's because it sounded like just send a picture and we'll take care of it in the email. And uh, so I sent the picture. Didn't hear anything back for three or four days. Didn't get any like new tracking information to, to be like, oh yeah, we got this. Here, we're going to send it out. Um, so I reached back out to them and I was like, hey, what the fuck's going on? Then they... Uh, they got back to me the next day and they're like, um, this is, uh, oh, they didn't, they didn't send it out or whatever the case was. I'm trying to actually, I'm going to actually see if I can pull up the, um, the actual string for the email on this in terms of what exactly happened with this order. All right. I don't, I don't have it up here. Okay. Here it is. So um, I sent them the picture, and that was on December 21st. Um, December uh, 30th, I reached back out to them, um, and they asked me what what was my PayPal email. Um, so the same day, December 31st, I reached back out to them. Hey, here's my email. Um, blah blah blah. Um, and I included the picture again just to play it safe. So on January 6th, so seven days later. Um, I still haven't received my product. And then I gave it another synopsis of like what the fucking issue was, the order number, the email address, all that kind of stuff. And and then uh, on the 7th, so the next day, I receive an email back and it says, it's not letting us send a partial refund. We, because I ordered the MK and the RED. Uh, we have a weird system. That's interesting, right? Weird fucking system, right? I'm sure. Um, you're selling arms, which is, which is fine. Like, I, it's completely understandable. There's not like a lot of recourse um, we have um, as researchers because they're SARMs. So we have a weird system. Place the order, place order the wrong product and send a PayPal payment of $1 order number and reason. Sorry for the hassle. Okay, that was on January 7th. So. The next day, because this was at 5 p.m., uh, it was either that night or the next day I placed an order. Um, I did, so it says, place order the wrong product and send a PayPal payment of $1 order number and reason. So what I did is I placed an order for um, MK2866, even though I wanted RID140. 
because that's what I fucking read in their email that they responded to me with. Place the order for $1 um, with the PayPal fees and everything is probably like $1.33. And, um, and then, you know, shit says, oh, your order's probably... And then in the, in the order box, I just put down like the details and the dates and everything from um, the email conversation that we had gone back and forth on. <clears throat> Later that day or the next day, I receive email confirmation. The order went through. I get tracking information a couple of days later. I'm like, oh, good. Finally, right? Now I can get rid of the, the RAD um, 140 liquid and I can have the RAD 140 capsules. Because I went through and just told them exactly the synopsis and paraphrase what the email was. Like, hey, the first order was MK677 and RAD 140, both in capsules. I received liquid. I've been going back and forth. This has been this date. Um, they last email of this was on this date it said to do this um so then i receive a uh a i receive a the package and i'm like oh good i came because i live right very close to where i work so that i can come home on my lunch and do my meal prep so then i get this in the mail on my lunch break austrian mk2866 so with that being said, I uh, I wouldn't I don't recommend you buy SARMs. Period. Remember, like I'm not recommending you do anything. I think you should do whatever you uh, whatever you want to do as long as it's legal. Um, and these are not legal for human consumption, so don't do them. But um, metals research. I've been using them for a little while now. No issues with the MK677 and. Uh, I definitely enjoy that. However, the customer service and the ability to process the order, may, this could just easily be a one-off. I just want to let you guys know, like I'm not talking crap about the company whatsoever. Um, I've been using them for quite a while now. I, and that's generally over the last year or so, you know, 2018, was like this, the go-to company that I was using for. Um, but, I mean... That's a little bit excessive. Yes, I got a free bottle of MK2866. Uh, awesome, fantastic. By the way, I have a new video coming out about that, and uh, that'll be pretty interesting. Test um, and uh, Osterine, but at some strange dosages, so stay tuned for that. Um, that video will probably be coming out after this one, so stay tuned for that. Leave a like if you want to fucking see that video. But... The RAD140 never came in a capsule. Uh, I do have the liquid of it. I have been using that, but I would much rather prefer, and that's what I ordered is the capsules. So uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. If you were going to do any research um, with these compounds, that these are potential things you can run into. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It happens like... It's not that big of a deal. I'm just letting you know, like I will probably, I might still use them uh, or might just try another one. I mean, there's so many different companies out there um, that supply research chemicals. So I, I don't, I don't like have anything against them, but I just wanted to let you know what is going on and some of the experiences that you may come across. Just don't worry, like get your fucking panties in a bunch. It's not that big of a deal. It's just part of running a business. It's a small business. I've run a small business before and, you know, shit happens. Like, they're probably growing very quickly and very hectic trying to get shit done and make sure everybody's happy. So, like, I get it. I completely understand it. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you guys like this video, make sure you press that subscribe button. If you, uh, if you comment down below, keep your eyes shut for the rest of the video, I am going to keep my eyes shut for the rest of this video. And, um... If you want to follow along with what I'm doing in terms of making money online, I have a series um, on that as well on the YouTube channel, so check that out. Also, I have a series on documenting um, my journey and growing the YouTube channel. So if you want to check that, uh, check that out, make sure you look at the channel, which is just a little icon there of me flexing. And lastly, if you have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram. It'll be linked in the description or one of the other social um, platforms. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.